Guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, we are at Valencia Country Club again. Now today's segment is going to be on how to improve your game, how to shoot lower golf scores. And I'm, I have about four or five tips in mind that I really want to highlight in this video. And also I got a buddy of mine that I'm waiting on. He's going to be in the video explaining how he went from hundreds to eighties. Uh, he has a very interesting story because he had a hip replacement surgery a year ago. And when I was first playing with him, he couldn't even break a hundred at Willie Lakes, an easier golf course than we are here today. Now he's shooting mid eighties to, you know, low nineties consistently. And we're going to get a little bit of a testimony from him. So stay tuned and thank you for tuning in. So this is going to be tip number one. The number one thing I feel like a lot of amateurs don't have is a go-to tee shot. What you're gonna do is you're gonna have a lower tee. So if this is a standard tee, I tee it up like that, okay? So, I'm gonna show you guys. Low tee. This is also something that I learned from Butch. Low tee, open stance, and you swing along your feet line, okay? And you choke down a little bit, almost like you're hitting like an iron or something. And I'm gonna show you guys. This is what you do to have a fairway finder, okay? It's really hard for that ball to go right, I mean left. Hey guys, so I'm with my good friend right here, Tyler. And uh, he's a man that, I'm telling you, he was shooting in the hundreds, now he's shooting in the mid 80s and a lot harder golf course. Um, Tyler, what would you say if you could give two tips to people that are shooting in the hundreds that can get to eight, they want to get to 80s? What would you say? Or two tips you would give them? Mm -hmm. Just, uh, and practice with a purpose. Practice with a purpose and also uh, don't go to the flag for every pin, like try to land like 12 feet. Be more strategic. Yeah, try to like try to let your ball, give your ball room to release. I never did that before. I was always like gunning down the yardage and going exactly what that was instead right. of like taking 10 off or whatever. Hey man, that's some good advice. I mean, he literally had this happen the other hole where he knew like he's not gonna get the ball higher. So he just went to the middle of the green, took his medicine two puff for bogey but if he were to hit it into a bunker that's a tough bunker shot you know he could blade it over maybe leave it in there you're asking for a double or a triple but he just you know made his easy bogey and just went to the next hole so thanks ty next time we do a video it's gonna be like how do you get to the 70s <laughs> all right guys we're on we're on a par three and here's gonna be tip number two it's 215 yards i'm gonna tee the ball up Now this is gonna be about aim. Uh, most of the times when I see, you know, my, my buddies who, you know, shoot in the 80s and 90s, they set their feet first and their aim, okay? Now, I don't like that. I like to choose an intermediate target, like a foot ahead of the wall, like right here. Choose, aim your club head first, okay? And then you set your feet, okay? Make sure you do that one little tip. That's going to help your aim a lot. Oh. Make sure you choose an intermediate target. Put the club head down and then you use the feet. Okay? All right, guys. So I'm going to show you the aim with the driver now because I feel like for me, driver is a little harder to aim. So let me show you how to aim with the driver. And Club first, intermediate target, then feet parallel with the shaft. Okay. Here. Feet. I'm gonna talk about aim again. I can't stress how important aim is, right? And here's another reason why. When you're so focused on your aim and where the intermediate target, the target out in the fairway, why that's so important is because your mind is being focused 
of where you want the ball to go, not where you don't want it to go, right? We all do it, you know, I do it. If there's water OB, it kind of scares you a little bit. You're like, oh, don't go left, don't go right. But when you're so focused on deliberately where the ball, where you want the ball to be, it, it brings positive reinforcement. So that's why I'm so fixated on this aim. Please focus on aim, that'll help your score so much. See that? It's my go-to meal. Of course, go-to meal. Oh, good swing. This for PB and J. All right, guys. Here's tip number four. Now. Let me take you with me. You see this rough, okay? I'm gonna put this ball where it's like there's grass behind the ball, okay? So a good amount of grass, I'm gonna kind of push down on it. There's grass behind that ball. What I want to show you is when there's grass behind the ball, typically the reaction after you hit it is there's no spin because you're not making ball contact first, you're making grass contact first. So that ball is going to have a little bit of topspin. Now, when you get that information now, now you choose what kind of shot you want to hit. Because I have this shot and it's down slope, the first initial drop is going to roll. I have to play a little bit higher. So reading chipping lines are so important. That will help you get it closer to the hole, right? So from there, you really want to Open the face and play the high shot. Let it land soft. It ain't high. It's pretty good. For me, I like to have a little bit of a draw, and I like to look right in front of the golf ball. That's gonna help me compress it. It's gonna help me not hit behind it, and it's, it's worked for me for years. So, something like this. I mean, that was pretty damn good right there. <laughs> hey guys, thank you for joining me today. I hope you learned a lot. Um, I hope these tips help you. And uh, if, if there's any questions, feel free to comment on, on this comment section. And also, please don't forget to subscribe for future course vlogs. Um, you know, just some fun videos on the golf course. So, thank you.